Greetings America, James Knox here. Today I want to talk about DWDM and CWDM and these are sonnet architectures and what they are is coarse wave division multiplexing and dense wave division multiplexing. And what these are, they're passive multiplexing schemes, okay? These allow you to take many sonnet terminals, so basically 16, let's, let's use that example, it's easiest. So you can take 16 sonnet terminals, let's say 10 gigabits or OC196. You can slap them all in a couple of racks, and you can slap these prism modules in racks next door to it, and then you wire all these racks to these prism modules, and then the prisms serve to combine these signals that are separated by either narrow, which is dense, spaces within the spectrum, or wider spaces with, within the spectrum, which is coarse. So coarse wave and dense wave, okay? That's all it is. It's the ability to take a signal at, you know, that's of a different frequency or wavelength and multiplex it together on a single pair of fiber optics. So what you're doing is you're taking 16 devices and instead of having to put those 16 devices on 32 pieces of glass, you're putting them on two pieces of glass. And, you know, two pieces of glass is basically, you know, one piece of glass is that big. I don't know if you can see that, but it's tiny. You know, that's about uh, three, well, what is it, about three, three seconds? So anyway, here's a little one of my infamous drawings of this, of what I'm talking about here. And of course, uh, the NSA can tap all of this and do whatever it wishes with it and does and has for some time. Uh, this over here is basically the physical size of 144 strand ADSS fiber which would be all dielectric self-supporting fiber. Um, so you can look at that as you wish. Just kind of wanted to lay it out a little bit. So again that's really all that it is. Is you're taking a bunch of sonnet modules and combining them via very very fine prisms these are actually ground to one angst and that's a very very small number so through these prisms and then combined and spit out the other end and then the reverse happens on the other end and what it is it's a way to put more data across a single pair of glass and again we've got more glass than we know what to do with that's why this whole internet thing doesn't really make any sense because we've got so much glass that uh, we can just add equipment. And the problem in our telco facilities is real estate, the actual physical sp space within, within the telco building. That's at a huge premium, huge premium. You know, there's just too much equipment, no place to put it. So things got to keep getting smaller and getting smaller in order to, you know, because it's just too damn expensive to build buildings out and all that. And again, if the DOD is doing it and things, you know, they can build other buildings, but that's a whole different infrastructure. Uh, you know, it's going to utilize the same things. Things are going to come off the shelf. The new things, yeah, there's some of that, but okay, that's, you're just not going to deploy that. It has to be done in a manner that exists within the natural order of things as they are. It's always the way this works. I could sit here and go back all the way back to tube theory or to the very first microwave radios all the way back to a crystal set and we can bring up and see how this is all just layers on the same cake until we get up you know and really everything's just miniaturization gets smaller 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 VLSI very large scale integration and then beyond beyond and beyond so that's really what's going on and that's kind of the way you got to think about the way this whole network expands Okay, the other side of it in America is that our infrastructure infrastructure is failing everywhere. I spoke of bridges and I haven't even begun to talk about the grid or the telecommunications infrastructure. The actual physical plants of both these systems in many areas are horrendous. Okay, and just something I'm going to throw out there for now. More later on that. So I hope this kind of clears up any of the questions on DWDM, CWDM. If you want more, uh, let me know. Peace. God bless America.